Welcome ladies and gentlemen to yet another video for Cryptopocalypse Now. I'm your host Crypto Ranger, and today we're going to be looking at a strategy for market enemy trade execution approach trade type 1. We have four different types of how we can participate in uh, these trades and this is just one of them. We will choose the most uh, the ugliest place that we can find where most traders would fail in the range and uh, show you how you can evade these traps using market spy there are a few points that you need to keep in mind before executing a trade just like any other system you have to have your risk management checked and um, if that's in place you're good to go if you don't know what to do in terms of uh, sizing uh, position size allocation uh, stop losses and stuff like that. I encourage you to join our community where I host um, private <coughs> trade sessions where we discuss these kind of things and drill through them every day. Now we will start here and then use bar replay mode to see if we can blindly spot some trades that come at us in the future but zoom out a little bit and I want you to take a look at something here we have three zones called equilibrium zones it is the place between our two baselines one and three one and two we have baselines three and one and we have two more moving averages here that make up our equilibrium zone number three the criteria for the demonstration of this particular type of trade execution that I'm going to show you requires that we have at least one baseline supporting price action from below. If we fall below all baselines, signals become invalidated and we wait for the next opportunity or we go short with utmost certainty. Let's begin by looking at this top where we posted a fresh high and we were wondering what is it that we could have done here to come out in profit if we were late and missed the trend so we're coming out at the top and what we have is the pod and the egyptian pyramid these are the things that i talked about in my market enemy introduction video that i posted last week let's recap of what these are a pod is a pre-order dot that occurs right before a reversal and the pyramid is a confirmation signal for the pod. Many times you will see a setup where both of them are intertwined, locked in together like this. There's a reason for that and we will explore the strategies. We can clearly see that we have equilibrium zone 1, equilibrium zone 2, and equilibrium zone 3 supporting price action from below. This is our entry method. When we see this, <coughs> and we have a pyramid set up our entry is placed like this in the following manner for you guys that want to be absolutely sure uh, that you get picked up on the absolute bottom uh, of price formation you will do this you will find a candle that has the longest tail an obvious wick candle and you will measure it by going to the close all the way to the bottom of that candle or if there's a wick nearby even closer to there you want to capture as many stop loss clusters as possible upon the closure of this candle you will then scale your orders here using buy a bit tools it's a specialized tool that we use where we can uh, instruct the program to place 50 different types of orders inside of this box here you would be picked up on this method at the absolute bottom with your average price somewhere around here you would then be carried through to the upside and sell at the first sign of resistance and we use our equilibrium zones to understand what those resistance levels are here they are you sell it at this baseline 90% of your holdings must go and you keep 10% and place your stop loss order after you have sold 90% only after that you place your stop loss order above your entry so that when price finally does come back down to knock you out you will not lose anything and not give any 
uh, of your Bitcoin in fees to the exchange. This is setup one and it's a profitable one. Let's go to setup number two. We have another market enemy reversal setup here and we're looking for the nearest wick. In this case, once again, we reuse this wick and this bottom of this wick here and we scale our order in this manner. We obviously come here and enter at the absolute bottom which reverses instantly and carries us through to the first sign of resistance using our equilibrium zones and we exit at the purple line 90% of our holdings. We then move our stop loss above our entry. Your entry would be here, you move your stop loss just about here. The next few candles knock you out and they also present an opportunity. A setup, market enemy setup for type one trade. You have pyramid and a pod. If this happens, I want you to skip the trade. You want the pod before the pyramid. Wait for the next setup. Now we have a pod and the pyramid that followed. When this candle closes, I want you to scale from the nearest wick, which is here, down to the last wick that we saw previously. You get picked up on your order right here, carry it through, and you sell 90% of your holdings, placing a stop loss for the other 10% above your entry. You get knocked out over here. This is another opportunity to go long. We have had one, two, three successful longs already. Candle closes, it's a confirmed pyramid. You look at the nearest wick, which is right here, and you scale it to the wick before it. You get picked up on this candle and carried up to the upside where you sell the majority of your position inside the equilibrium zone, putting a stop loss just above your entry, somewhere around here. A few candles later, you have more market enemy setups coming your way and you know this position will get closed by a wick. Don't touch it. You have 10% remaining. You will get knocked out somewhere here. This is another opportunity presented by Market Spy where we go long. We scale again looking at the nearest wick. The nearest wick here is here, here and here. We place our order accordingly. We scale them, they get fully filled, instant reversal, you're in profit, you sell 90% of your holdings in this area. You move your stop loss above your entry, which would have been on average just around here. Your stop loss would be sitting here. You leave the 10% to run. Feel free to take profit when you're satisfied. This is running and now you have another opportunity. When you see this, you might as well take profit from this entry. Now the next opportunity for us that is presented here is telling us to find a wick from here down to here. You scale in, you get filled on this candle, carry it through to the upside. Let's zoom in. Carry it through to the upside and you sell inside the resistance zone. 90% of your holdings are gone. You place your stop loss just above your average entry around here. This candle knocks you out. You lose nothing. We have the next setup coming up, but notice how we're now below all equilibrium zones. In the beginning of this video, I told you that is very important. Market structure is changing we're having a bearish setup indicated by this yellow line. You can attempt to do one more long. And if this is the signal, then this wick and this wick is your entry. You get picked up, carry through to the upside and you sell 90% of your holdings of your position, moving your stop loss above entry. The next candle over here knocks you out. You have another market enemy set up. Market structure has changed and now we're closing below all equilibrium zones and there's no support down below 
the one criteria that we need to have is that we need to see some sort of support from down below. This is a short signal. We have a bearish setup. If you activate bears, we'll have a diamond here. We'll show you that indicates that this is a sell zone. All right. So we're not shorting on this channel, but if you are, this is a successful short. We'll cover that in the next video. You wait for the next setup. There's a pod over here, yet you don't see the pyramid. You wait it out. You see a pod and you see a confirmed pyramid. You scale your orders according to market spy strategy. You go from the nearest wick, which is right here, to the next wick, which is right about here or even here. Doesn't matter. But let's say this is the area. We have now some support. One, two, three equilibrium zones down below. This is your entry. You have 50 scale orders packed inside of this tiny little um, area. You get picked up on this candle and you get carried through all the way up towards the next equilibrium zone where you sell 90% of your orders. How you sell it and maximize your profit can be explained uh, by joining our discord where I go and walk you through this process. Remember this is type one trade and we have three other types. You have the next signal over here. So far we had no losers and we had almost 10 amazing trades. We have one more setup. You look for the wick one that is here and the next one that is down here. You scale in your orders, you get picked up partially. Good risk management as you have more dry powder remaining here for later. This carries you through to the upside, you sell inside the equilibrium zone. We have another setup, a pod, and it doesn't matter if we're looking at price action and uh, we kind of know what's ahead. It's always the same. This is not cheating, unlike some other indicators. And uh, we can also use hike and a sheet candles for a much smoother experience, but this is to show you what is possible on raw charts. We have a pod, pre-order dot, and we have the Egyptian pyramid reversal. We look for the wick next to the next wick. There's no wick, there's no wick, there's no, here's a wick. We scale our orders. We come here, we got picked up, we carried through, you get carried through to the upside here. You sell the majority of your contracts at the first sign of resistance. Could be this baseline or this baseline. You move your stop loss after you have sold 90% to above your entry. If your entry was on average around here, you would put your stop loss here. Next few candles knock you out right here. You lose nothing. Yeah, you have stop losses, but you lose nothing unlike other people. Let's take a look at the next setup. We have a pod followed by a pyramid. We're looking for the nearest wick from here down to here. We scale in, price goes down, picks you up. A little scary, but we have a criteria that's supporting this price action, which is the equilibrium zone, number three. You get picked up, get carried through to the upside. You sell 90% in the next equilibrium zone and keep 10% running. If your entry on average is here, you place your stop loss above so you don't end up giving the exchange any of your Bitcoin. Another successful trade. I'm just waiting to see when we actually fail on this strategy. It will happen, but with this kind of win rate, good luck staying in the minus for a prolonged period of time. We have a setup closed. Next candle. We're looking for this wick down to another wick over here might as well scale here it's a distance away so as you can see uh, when there's a huge distance like this you might want to go a little deeper but let's say you didn't go like this you get picked up instantly thousands of dollars underwater you have a GPS dot and the max 7 setup coming up which carries you through to the upside, you sell inside of the equilibrium zone and you move your stop loss 
Now you set, you don't move it, you don't have it. Now, after you have sold 90%, you wait to sell 90%. The reversal is telling you that we're coming back for you, buddy. You sell the remaining 90% here and the remaining 10, you put your stop loss just above your entry so that you don't lose anything when price knocks you out. Now you have a runner that keeps you in this range. You see another setup over here. It's time to sell your 10% and look for a fresh setup. We have the nearest wick is right here and the next wick is right here. We scale in, we get fully picked up, get carried through to the upside and we have another winner. Rinse and repeat. We have another setup. We look for the nearest wick over here, scale in and you wait. You wait, nothing happens. The next setup again, now it's telling you, this setup is telling you that you should use these wicks against this wick. So setup, pyramid pod, limit orders from two previous lows, higher lows. You do this, you get picked up over here fully. You get carried up to the upside. For people who are just coming in and they miss this move, they miss this move. Every pyramid represents a reversal. Here's another one. It's telling you, you should go from here to here, yet another opportunity. You get fully filled, get picked up, brought to the upside. You sell 90%, stop limit, stop order, market order limit above your price so you don't lose anything. We have another pyramid, but we don't have a pod. Skip it. We have a pod and we have a pyramid. Pyramid closes and this is telling you that you should look at the wick, the nearest wick. And this would be here down to here. You get picked up a little tiny amount, but nothing major. This is where type, uh, type two trade comes in and type three trade comes in that we will um, challenge in the next video. When you don't get an entry, but you still want to participate, you have strong evidence of support with our equilibrium zones. Forget about this setup. We need to type, uh, we need to change our type from type one, which we're exploring right now. And so far we've had all these trades, all profitable trades. Keep going. We have another setup right here and right here. And it's telling us, look for the wick and down to this wick. We get picked up a little bit, carry through to the upside. You can sell 90% and keep the other 10. We have another setup over here. It's telling you to look for the wick from here down to here again. Now, we don't get an entry. Price starts to go higher and higher. And here we have something interesting happening that we will cover in the next video. But our trend started right here when the money flow began to cross over on 10th, November 20th at 2015 UTC. This is where the trend began. There's another way to catch it. We'll explore it in the next video. Here's a setup and the pyramid. Pre-order dot pyramid. It's telling you to look for the wick. And we're looking for this wick all the way down. We have one, two, three wicks, four, maybe scale in like this. You get fully picked up, carry to the upside, sell inside the equilibrium zone, stop loss, same thing. We have another pyramid over here. We go look for the wick from here down to here is the major distance. You get picked up a little bit of time underwater, overextension here, no worries. We have something down here that uh, is telling us we should be okay. We go up and we sell. Here's another setup. You don't get to scale in here because um, maybe a little bit, but there's no time. Type two trade entry here. We'll talk about that later. We have another setup. You look for the wick. The nearest wick would be right here. From here down to about here. You get partially picked up carry through to the upside and here we are let's zoom out a little bit each and every one of these single trades was a successful long with a proper stop-loss management 
scaling order types type 2 trade we will begin by looking at live price action now we have a setup on the pyramid we place our order at the wick all the way down to here and we wait we have another pyramid set up we go and place the order from here to here and we wait these are reversal candles that call for type 2 trade we're exploring type 1 type 1 is suitable for ranges when there is no trend let's increase the speed a little bit Whoa, we have one right here. Our orders should be scaled from here down to here. We get fully picked up on this order, carry through to the upside, and we sell inside the equilibrium zone 90% of our trades. We have another setup. We look at this wick and the wick after, just below it. We get fully picked up over here, carry through, we sell inside the equilibrium zone. We're now below all equilibrium zones here. Gotta keep that in mind. We're reversing on the equilibrium zones. So far, no bad trades. We have a pod reversal. All that is required is that you're patient. Here we have a pyramid and we need to scale in from here to here. This is our buy area. You get picked up, carried through, you sell 90% here. You keep 10% stop loss here. You have another pyramid set up. You go and look for the wick. From here down to your equilibrium zone or the pyramid over here actually. Uh, sorry the pyramid, the moving average. I'm so confused, there's so many good trades here. I'm lost. There's a special method to how we determine how far we can scale away from current price action. You get paid. You're already in profit over here anyways. You sell 90% of your trades. Mm. Tasty. You have the next setup. You go here, down to here. Got picked up. Carry through, you sell. These are reversal signals. Wait for it. We're supported by the baseline in the green. Look at this. I have no words for how much I can love Egyptian pyramids right now. Yeah, baby. Here's another Egyptian pyramid. We scale in from this wick down to this wick. We get picked up on this order. <clears throat> We just sit in it. We sell 90% at the first sign of resistance here. We keep the rest of 10% with a stop uh, loss order above our entry and let it run. And the market will take care of it. No losing trades so far. Here's an Egyptian pyramid. We go and scale in here. Sorry. Put your scales in here. More Egyptian pyramids, no pods, wait for it. <clears throat> when you don't get an entry, there's a type two trade that we can mitigate this kind of missing out action. Egyptian pyramids, reversals. We need to wait for a pod, there you go. You get, you get picked up over here and you get carried through to the upside and you sell at the first sign of resistance, okay? You're out of here 90%. Sign
some of you may have more tolerance for risk, so you'll be rewarded if you wait a little bit. More upside. We're now above all baselines. We're not looking to uh, trade the Egyptian pyramid reversals. There's a type two trade that we must look at to catch this price action. This is the best system in the world right now, bar none. You're not gonna find there's a lot of mumbo jumbo about do this, do that. This is a replicable process. It's always the same. There's no other way. You have a pod, you have a pyramid, you have a reversal. Simple as that. Here's a pyramid setup. Type 2 trade is necessary for this one. If you're a market spy with us, you know why. Your Bitcoin is going up in value. You're not losing a single Satoshi on this. And you're gaining whatever it is that you're gaining. Equilibrium zones will be explored in the next video for your amusement. Here's a pyramid set up. We go and look for the wick, which is right here. If we get picked up, fine, good. If we don't, that's fine too. Type 2 trade call. Egyptian pyramid. And here we are. Now, this is type 1 trading with Market Spy Armageddon. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have more questions, please join our Discord and we will explore this strategy in more detail and show you how you prevent uh, losing trades from happening, period. In the next video, we will look at type 2, type 3 and type 4 trades where a certain magic happens and there's an uptrend and we can see uh, we we know how to identify that with market spy and then there's a there's another way to enter these and we will explore those and then in later videos we will look at hike and a sheet candles and what we can do with those but hopefully you understand the principle here next time when you see a pyramid you'll be scaling in at the nearest wick down to the late last wick over here this will pick you up and carry you through to the upside. We're not going down now. Tune in on Discord where all of this beautiful action happens. Let's scale out a little bit. Do you see all these blue boxes? These are all profitable trades with proper risk management, proper stop losses that you're not going to find anywhere else. And the way we manage our trades and execute stop losses based on the principles outlined by markets by Armageddon, you're simply beating the exchange itself and the assholes trading against you. Welcome to the club. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.